Hello, hello, hello. This is Faris Al Hajri, PhDM from Hakwa Wellness Consulting Office. Emotional health. We always emphasize the importance of health that possessing health is not just on the absence of disease as proclaimed by World Health Organization. Being healthy is to possess the, all the aspects of health, the physical, the emotional, the mental, and spiritual health. And particularly with the address, with the title of our emotional health, the power of you amplify your subconscious vitality. And in this session, we highlight the factors of wealth. Five factors of wealth. And we started with a quote that we highlighted that not every rich is wealthy, but every wealthy is rich. So many think that possess a lot of money, that means you are wealthy. But the fact is that, yes, we need money. Money is one of the factors of wealth, the least. We need money for our daily activity, our necessities, our, you know, for everything we do in life. But that is not the entire part of wealth. It's not the complete, it's not the most important. It, for me, I consider it's the least important. So let's go to realize what, what, in a way that we put it in a pyramidical, inverted pyramidical shape. And you may realize that possessing the five factors of wealth, you're already rich because opulence or a lot of money falls under one of these factors, but the least. What is the first, what is the most important? So we start with the most important, the most crucial to the less, to the least crucial. As you can see here, the inverted pyramid, number one, number one, the priority is the power of faith, devotion. Two, PEMS health. So we'll explain what is that PEMS health. Number three, happiness. Number four, skill and knowledge. Number five, opulence. And opulence means money. Plenty of money. So the more you have money, the more you need to understand in simultaneously, the growth should be in the same manner. And this is very important. And when we highlight the PEMS health, here PEMS denote to physical health, emotional health, mental health, and spiritual health. So, as we highlight that we need to change our mentality that, yes, we, we're working hard every day to make money. We, our, every time we sleep, we wake up in the morning and start to think, how much money do I have? How much money do, am I going to have? How am I going to be rich? But I have realized that there are people who have been running to become rich, to make a lot of fortune, but that money did not bring exactly everything to what I've realized, the five factors of wealth. I mean, all the other fact, four factors of wealth. So for this reason, I came to realize that money is important, but the least. So as you grow, as your fortune grow, irrespective of how much you possess, the more it grow, you need to remember that it needs to, go, to grow simultaneously with the same parallel of the pyramidical, inverted pyramidical, uh, for, with the previous uh, aspects of uh, wealth. So I wish all of you wealthy life, not just only opulence, not just only lot of money, not just only Pam's health, the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual, but also happiness, the devotion, power of faith.
and taking in consideration the priority by volume. This is just a small hint we wanted to share with you. And please subscribe to our channel, YouTube channel, if you did not uh, subscribe. Like our video and share it to your connections. And we highlight the importance of uh, Hakwa Revitalize as the tool, the fuel that will engage you towards building your entire PEMS health, physical health, emotional health, mental health, and spiritual health. So keep quit your body, not just only hydrate, because hakwit is to keep your body full with the, filled with the water, oxygen, hydrogen energy, which are the elements found in her water. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye.